Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Galactic Civilizations 3 Intrigue. With me, Get Daved. This is the third expansion for the game. And this might be the one that has helped it turn the corner, because Galaxiv 3 was originally a little softer than its predecessor, which was one of the great 4X games of all time, especially when its third expansion pack came out. But uh, yeah, they, I think, have done it. They've really changed the game up quite a bit. The first expansion pack did, like, nothing. But they've really iterated and fixed some of the core problems. And let's get into it, shall we? I'm just going to play as um, the Terran Alliance, because I'm boring. Get used to it. Uh, well, I mean, or we could meet in the middle. I'm not trying to be hostile in the first episode. Save that for the late game. Um... There's other good ones, but they have a pretty good distribution of things I like, and customizing a civilization is a super involved process. Um, where you like... You set up like an online dating profile, basically, where it's like, pick some verbs to de or pick some adjectives to describe your civilization. Like, I'm not joking. Or exaggerating. Uh, we're gonna go on a medium galaxy, and... I'm going to have stars be a little rare, but then aim for really good planets around them, because I would rather, you know, if we're going to build a colony, I want it to be somewhere good. Um, all the victory conditions we'll have on. Disable tech brokering. Yeah, some people don't like tech trading. Um, I kind of like that it speeds the pace of the game up, and I mean, yeah, I could technically... Um, I could technically, you know, mess around with these things to offset it. But we'll just keep the, the default rules in place. And we'll we'll have Groot and then a bunch of random ones, because why not? And a bunch of randos. Alright, let's create a universe, shall we? Should note, I did get slightly early access to the game. Someone from Stardock emailed me um, and said, eh, do you want to have early access? And I said, okay. So I got, I got in 48 hours early, give or take. And the lore of Galsiv 3 and 1 and 2 is that humanity invented the hyperdrive and shared it with everyone, including the hyper-militaristic races, because they wanted to I don't know what they wanted, because <laughs> they wanted to die. All right. Um, to kick things off, we need factories. Might as well get salvaging a capsule right away, or, you know, the various anomalies. We could colonize Mars. Plus 10% food? I find that hard to believe. Also, having Durantium close to us this early on is really good. Also... Oh, we have to wait for our Zoc to expand. Okay. That's all good. So one thing kind of significant has changed since the vanilla version of the game. And that is the way population growth works. So before it used to be you would make farms, which would give you food production, and they would, um, you know, increase the population cap because you had more food. In this one, you need to build cities, pretty much. I mean, technically a capital counts as well. Now you can see it's got population cap plus five. Um, I'm a little afraid of what would happen if this gets destroyed. I imagine the population starts dying off. So you can see we're at the cap right now. So we need to grow food so that we can then increase the population cap. And that's usually done on arable land. Um, we don't really have a whole lot going our way right now.
Yeah, we'll just leave it at that for now. Um, so I have pretty quick research on this for now. Ugh. It would only be 600 BC to rush it. Let's do that just so we can get the party started. It's making us money, right? That's a good thing. And let's just see what our bonus is here. Bonus to wealth and influence. So we could we could try taking advantage of that. We do need a decent manufacturing core. Uh, our city, our civilization is based entirely out of Siberia. So, hope we had some good global warming. Otherwise, this is kind of a curious or decision. Um, usually the starting planet also starts out quite diverse. Oh shoot, that's not the one I mean. Uh, computer core, which I meant to put here. It's all right, we'll get these kinks sorted out. Also, is that a one-time only building? One per player. All right, well, works for me. And it's got a nice adjacency bonus. So good buildings next to each other will help each other out. Increase our wealth level. Yeah, this is what we've got to work on for now. Once we gain the ability to make factories, we can do a bit more. And I'm going to try to get some of these asteroids into our territory as well. All right, if you're new to the series, exploring anomalies is important. Plus 15% colonial settlements? Oh, that's towards our research. All right. Usually it's money. If I had to make a generalization, that would be it. Yay, we made it already. All right, so now we can build factories, which I'm gonna sneak in. And I would kind of like to get the hyperspace project. Yeah, let's try sneaking it in. Okay, back to Earth. You can see it has a zone of control that's going to start expanding. We um we wanted to get out to those asteroids, which might take a little while. All right, good places for factories. Don't exactly have great adjacency bonuses this way. I'm trying to be practical about a long-term plan here. Which might involve getting some money sources here. We don't have arable land, so it's going to be a little tough to really get any farming going on here. Um, also, in previous Galactic Civilizations games, you know, a planet might have a bonus thing on it, like spice, let's say, and that would be on a tile. You would just get that. Now you have to build an improvement on it. We're not going to go for this anomaly. It will kill us. Well, it'll kill us today. Ooh, a bread basket. A doughy old bread basket right next door. Um, hmm.
We haven't met any aliens yet, so I'm okay with leaving things as they are. We probably don't need weapons yet. Yeah, growth plus 10%. We're not relying on that at all right now, but it's something to keep in mind. What's a guy got to do to get a moral dilemma? Well, we're getting money anyway. I'm gonna rush one of those factories. Just cause, you know, I want to take care of the economy. Bad things can happen if we don't, uh, and will. Production rank 5 out of 6 already? Yeesh. Well, maybe that can change once we get a citizen? Gonna lower our tax rate since our economy is not great anyway, and it's only really lowering us a little bit. And we get some nice approval. People like this tax-free empire. But yeah, right now our exploration is basically sustaining us, so... Ooh. Corrosive world, and it's cold. I think... We can handle corrosive, but um, synthetics can't, but no matter. A blight has affected Earth. It's the plot of Interstellar. Oh my goodness. Minus 10 morale. Oh man. Stage a war among our people. This is hilariously evil. Um, morale's fine. I generally prefer the pragmatic one, so we'll make a pragmatic decision. It's a real bummer of an early event, though. Normally they're uh, helpful. All right, at some point we're going to want to get get a shipyard. We even slot it in now cuz we're not using our our ship production yet. There we go. Now our production's good. I don't know what happened. I guess building a couple things. And yes, there's a keyboard shortcut, but I'm I'm one-handing it right now. This precursor or ascension crystal, pardon me, is super good. If we build a star base nearby it, we could siphon basically slowly siphon off winning the game from it. Cool. Great analytics. Man, level three. I mean, it's not a powerful ship, so don't get too attached. But, you know, it's got some potentiality there. Uh, we need a colony ship. Honestly, all of these would be pretty good. Oh, thanks for putting it there, gang. Uh, given how fast these are coming out, I'm not going to rush them. Just because it's good to hold on to money. A little. Just a little. Not a lot. From New Braun, South America. Let me know if you want to be a citizen, by the way. Alright. An improved antibiotic has instead produced a super bacteria. <laughs> 
What the heck is... Ah. Uh. Um... I hate to say it, but this is probably the most moral in the long run. Uh, there's nothing we can do. Alright, well, I don't know about that. I can't have production down. Yeah, sorry gang. We're gonna take a hit to the smileys. Alright, Ivan. All right, photo of a developer with John Lennon glasses on. Okay, so I haven't talked much about administration, but it's a cap on your growth. We'll just leave it at that for now. Um, I'm gonna settle them on a colony though to boost the social production there. Because we could use that right now and then we can make him a generalized citizen later. Yes. Every 10 weeks we get a citizen. And let's transfer him to Earth. So there you go, he's taking care of things. So we'll call it a good day for Earth, I guess? Right? I mean... They're starving and sick. Eh, people are gonna be happy to get off this planet. Just a few turns to go. Ooh, more research, thank you. All right, that turned out kind of well. Reduce ship construction. Improve fleet capacity, basically. Hmm. Media assimilation government. Uh, I'll explain that later. I'm sure it's less creepy than it sounds. It's not. Um, but you can have government types, which was in Galsiv 2 and taken out. I quite like it. And uh, early on, we're only going to be feeling bad about it. So just come to terms with that right now. Sure. Uh, Earth, what are you up to? Oh, we need antimatter. Antimatter is usually clustered near black holes in this game. Um, in real life, it sounds like it might be true. Yeah, there we go. So we have found a source of antimatter, and we could probably plunk a constructor here and siphon antimatter and delirium, which would be really cool. We do have a constructor in the queue. Uh, I'll just load up two people. Two million? There's a case to be made for colonizing Mars in this game. Not really in real life. I mean, you can land a couple people there, but I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't, you know, Count on it being as good as Earth anytime soon. Hmm? Yeah, have a good day. We can't even talk to the other people. Oh yeah. Yeah, our raw production is going to be down a little bit because the people are gone. They're all floating in space. OK, 
can see the limit of our exploration range right now. Yeah. Have a good day. We got universal translators, everyone. Kind of well-timed. Uh, there is a fancy tech tree, by the way, but I prefer the parsed down version of it in most cases. Um, time to militarize just in case. Wow, well, Onyx is doing well. We're not doing great, but again, hopefully that's more centered around the fact that our people are all loaded up on a transport. Oh, I think I may have just seen something important. We have a budget surplus. Give a tax break. That's not a great long-term solution. I'm detecting a, an American bias to this game. I mean, in, invest that in something that'll make more money later. That'd be my take on it, but... I guess that's kind of the equivalent of pour it into research. Um... All right, noted. Thank you for that opinion. Hmm. Any ship built by its... Hmm. Well, I don't have synthetic people. I'm carbon-based. The old Otter Bay. A uh, preferred torrenting site of mine. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's outside our range. I mean, for our survey ship, we might be able to beat that with a colony ship. Paxton's Emporium. Convert a small percentage of every tile of influence you own into tourism income. Hmm. That would be a super long-term goal. I don't know if I want to bother with that. Uh, especially because if someone else is, then you know what happens. Or if you don't, we lose it. We lose it all. All that production wasted. I feel like having a Galactic Council on Earth is a good idea. Wow, one per galaxy, and we can get it pretty quickly. Let's do it. All right, this is what I was hoping for. We've reached level one pragmatism. <laughs> so we get to invest. Um, so the responsible thing is to do this and build a preparedness sensor so we can get free ideology points basically, but I'm not gonna do that because I want three constructors. Yeah, let's let's nab these. Trying to think. Ship range plus five and that's passive, I think. Yeah, let's grab it. That could come in very handy very now. Uh, do I get my constructors? There are they. Well, there's the one I built. We had a deal, game. Uh, let's just pour out another, another little guy for now. Oh, never mind, I unclicked it. Now I'll take constructors.
there should do it. And another one. Please? There we go. Never mind, I single clicked it. Never listen to anything I say. Uh, honestly, this location is going to be tough to beat. I'm usually all about the mining star bases, so expect to see a decent amount of that. If I go here, I can probably get the cursor or the precursor relic and both of these resources. They've also changed how star bases work a little bit in this one. We'll get there. Ooh. Never mind, we're still out of range. If our zone of control expands just a little bit further, we'll be set though. Uh, we have Ethereum, or Illyrium, pardon me. <laughs> we got cryptocurrency. Let's build it right by Jupiter so it can uh, disturb, us, <laughs> disturb our starbase with its gravity. Everything you're proud of. Chucking it in space. All right, we probably want to have a mining ring. And we're just going to pump it dry. Normally, I like to have economic star bases near the, well, everything, basically. Um, that's probably going to be the next wave, though. Yeah, the next one that comes out. Colonize the planet? Too cool. Yeah, it's a thrill to be here. To be here. The galaxy is filled with worlds for the taking. Hmm. Scorpions! <laughs> what a what a treat. Okay. Oh, I see where this is going. So it's lined with rare minerals, which we want. <laughs> They've become the mascot. Hmm. Take their valuables. I mean, a massive manufacturing bonus would be right, but I'm kind of committed to... Oh, that's really hard to walk away from. I'm kind of committed to this. To pragmatism. A natural wonder. Look at that beauty. What's a guy have to do to get arable land? Maybe I'm overlooking a really basic research thing, but I think not. Anyway, you can see if we had food, we could build a city, but we do not have food. Uh, I guess we start with factories. We got to do something to help out this productivity. Oh yeah, governments. Uh, we'll save this one for next time, everybody, but we're going to have to govern. Bad news. See you in the next episode, everyone.